Many of the states, including Georgia, will use contact tracing to stop the virus. It's a term you are going to start hearing a lot more. Natisha Lance explains how it works. Contact tracing is a public health technique. It's been used to trace everything from foodborne illnesses, sexually transmitted diseases, and Ebola. Governor Brian Kemp says it will be a key strategy once people start going back to work. We need to be able to do contact tracing for that and to be testing the people that they've been around so you know, you know who, to, who to send home. It works by identifying infected people, isolating them, then tracking down everyone they've been in contact with and getting those people tested and into quarantine. Extensive contact tracing helps South Korea contain its COVID-19 outbreak. The U.S. has been practicing contact tracing to some degree during the coronavirus pandemic, but expect it to ramp up with the use of your cell phone. Google and Apple are teaming up to create a smartphone contact tracing tool. Bluetooth signals will track if a phone has been in close proximity to someone with the virus. If someone tests positive, they will register their confirmation on the app. And then it will warn anyone who was around you that they may have been exposed in the last 14 days. Users have to opt in to use the software. The companies say the tool will not identify a person, but will make it possible for health officials to contact them. That they really need to convince people that they are doing the right thing here. Researchers suggest 60% of a region would have to use the app before digital tracing could stop the spread of the virus. Once developed, Apple and Google say the app should be used in addition to other preventative measures. Governor Kim tells us Dr. Toomey and her team will also rely on technology to further contact tracing in Georgia.